Welcome to this short presentation on the key enhancements that we've made to our Click360 product. To differentiate it from the standard platform, we've added an S to the name. Now, I'm not sure if that stands for supercharged or superhighway enabled, but anyway, we needed to make a distinction. Now, there's one major enhancement that is delivered as standard with Click360S, and that's the digitalized interactive report. And there are two other advances which are optional, and we'll show you those in just a minute. So let's just pause and set the scene. Whether or not you've got five-year-old kids, you can probably relate to this picture. The digital train has left the station. You know, we need to get on board. And here are some facts about the growth of mobile traffic. I mean, the growth in those bars is almost exponential. Here are some more stats. Another piece of research that we've come across suggests that 60% of emails are currently being read on handheld mobile devices. And that figure is expected to reach 80% by about the middle of 2017. Well, who cares? So what, you ask? You know, what difference does all that make? Well, the fact is, my friend, that any 360 degree feedback questionnaire interface or report that doesn't function well on a mobile device, in other words, is not responsive, is likely to soon become extinct, which is why we've put so much energy into developing our Click360S platform. Now, the good news is that our questionnaire interface was already designed to be responsive. So these improvements are around the reporting side and then some add-ons. And we put together a second infographic below this one that shows more on our questionnaire screens and our simultaneous rating feature. This presentation is just an overview of the bits that are new with Click360S. So let's take a little bit more of a look at this digital report. This comes standard in the Click360S tool. Imagine that your 360 feedback has now been completed by all your raters, the data is in, and your report is ready. So you've been sent a link to your report by email, and here it is accessed via your smartphone. You've been given strict instructions to open the integrated workbook, which will guide you through a path of discovery to analyze and interpret your feedback. For clarity, let's transfer now to a tablet view. So here is the report with the workbook open alongside. There are buttons on the report pages which correspond to the correct part of the workbook that helps you to interpret that page. Inside the workbook, there are prompts and questions which you are encouraged to type in the answers to. It's an online form. So what we've created here is a virtual coach that will guide you through to creating a development plan that plugs the gaps identified through your feedback. Now, to see more of the new reporting tool in action, we've created a third infographic on this page just about the reporting, and we encourage you to view that. But what if you're thinking, well, I don't know, that report, it's all a bit too sophisticated for where you are as an organization right now. In other words, a, a paper version is, is, is good enough. Well, then step forward, our standard Clip 360 report. It's still available, and you can see the two compared in that infographic I mentioned. For this presentation, we just want to move on to show you the, the, the two further enhancements of the Click 360S tool, both of which are optional, but highly recommended. So option one is an email designed to go to participants, which invites them into the platform to nominate their raters. This email could potentially replace the need for you to run expensive and time consuming physical awareness briefings because it's embedded with three video links. Imagine this being read on a mobile device. Everybody wants video now. They're slowly replacing text. People can't be bothered reading long, long pages of text. So this first link is to a short two to three minute video, which features your CEO or equivalent. And it's got a punchy message explaining why you've been chosen, how important you are to the organization's growth, and how the 360 will result in a tailored development plan that leaves the participant feeling engaged and bought into the process. Even better if the CEO concludes with words like, hey, guess what, guys? Myself and the team, we're going to go first. 
So that short cameo sets the scene and inspires the participants to get on board. And we can guide you with the scripting of the video. We can offer basic editing, captions, etc. It doesn't have to be an extensive production, by the way. Um, all of the videos on this website are produced in-house, just using a smartphone. Now, this second link is to a colorful brief infographic like the one you're watching now. And this is co-created between us. There's narration like this. The slides paint a clear picture of the 360 process, the different steps involved, the contracting around confidentiality, timings and logistics, what the outcomes look like, etc. We have a basic template which is easily customized and personalized to your specific process and to make sure it's a good cultural fit. And then the last link is to another video. This time it's a role play of a participant having an invitation conversation with a would-be rater. Why produce this? Well, our research clearly shows that when feedback givers are invited personally like this, either face-to-face -face or by telephone, they make a firm commitment to the feedback receiver. And that leads to a dramatically improved completion rate. And the quantity and the quality of the data provided will be much higher. Now, this is a TLC production already made, although we can remake it if necessary to suit your specific requirements. And we've actually produced this both as a video and as an audio track. In other words, like a recording of a phone conversation. Participants are encouraged to watch this video at least a couple of times and then to follow the script outline as closely as possible when they pick up the phone or go and see each of their prospective raters to invite them. And they're encouraged to take this step before they nominate them online. And then the rest of the email just shows rules around the nominations uh, and it provides them with a link that accesses the Click360 tool and then they go on there and complete their nominations using a simple online form. So that's option one, the sort of rate of nominations awareness briefing email. Now let's look at option two. This is a process that we call checking out, which is then followed by checking in. Now in the physical world, we've always coached participants to take out the key messages from their 360 reports and then to prioritize one strength and up to three development goals. So here's the online version of that. It's just a grid which is completed by the participant inside the action planning part of their interactive workbook. The words in red are a worked example. And then here's a strength that's been typed in. And there's the first development priority. Back in the physical world, we coach participants to select just a few of the raters who gave them the feedback online and then have conversations with those raters to check out their development priorities. And they ask them the golden question. And what they get back is data that enriches their development plan. It provides greater clarity, uh, greater clarity and depth than what they got from their initial reports. So we've simply taken the physical model and digitalized it for a virtual world. Once the participant is clear on their development priorities, having talked them through with their line manager or their coach, they simply check this little box under their grid. This then triggers the checking out email to each of the raters in the network for that participant. Here's the email linking to the rater input screen. And then every time data is fed in, bearing in mind that the questions there, there's two questions. One is the, the so-called golden question. If you study it closely enough, you'll see what that is. And then the other one is, is just a, a question about any learning suggestions, any learning ideas. So once a rater has completed that and fed it back, then the participant gets a link to say, you've got new feedback, check it out here. And that takes them to a new page that has appeared inside their digital report. So that was checking out. This is checking in. In the survey setup phase, right at the beginning, you've already decided what the checking in time lapse should be. We recommend 90 days, but you can set it to whatever interval you want. And at that point, an automated checking in email is fired off to raters, inviting them to go back through the development priorities for that participant 
and comment on what they've noticed about the participants' behaviour, what's working well, what they could still do differently. And then as soon as data is fed in, the participant receives an email to say, hey, you've got new feedback. And once again, the link in that email takes them to a new page in their digital report where the feedback is displayed. Still anonymous, but it is um, it, it is shown via rater category, by rater category. So the checking in step keeps the 360 process alive. It's Kaizen. It's continuous improvement. And then 90 days later, the same again. 90 days later, the same again. And so on until their next 360. Well, that concludes this whistle-stop tour of our latest Click 360S platform. We hope you like what you see, but if you're thinking that the briefing email with the video links plus the checking out and checking in steps, they're all too advanced for where your culture is right now, we can switch those off. They are optional. We just leave you with a digitally responsive questionnaire and report platform. Your choice. We encourage you to check out the questionnaire infographic that's below and the more detailed report infographic that's even further down. And why not sign up for one of our regular webinars? You can find out much more. You can ask questions. You can see more. You, know, you, can, you can choose to see uh, all of this live uh, in action. And if you like, we're happy to set up a free trial for one participant if you want to try it out at our expense. For any of this stuff, just go to the free stuff page in the navigation menu top right of the home page. Otherwise, please contact us using the information that's on screen now. Thanks ever so much for watching.